Sachin Siwach make it a hat trick for Team India. He's up against Kyrgyzstan's Munabek Setbek Ulu. 28 years old. Lost out to Carlo Parlam in the semi finals yesterday. Beg your pardon, lost out to Carlo Parlam in the Asian Games. Carlo Parlam winning his semi final yesterday, beating Sachin Siwach. Save Ulu. So we saw as he came in, cut over the left eye, some running repairs. Yeah, definitely. There's a little bit of taping has gone in there. They'll be able to, that'll be inspected by the referee before it to make sure that it passes muster, so to speak. But time for that cut to coagulate and settle wasn't much, obviously 24 hours. So he'll be trying to keep his hands up, keep himself out of the way because it looks to be right over the eye, which could present a problem. But Sachin Sewach will be trying to present his own problems, of course. Yeah, he looked very impressive before yesterday when Carlo Parlam was just a bit too quick, a bit too aggressive. Referee having a look at that iron doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. Sebe Ulu lost out by unanimous decision yesterday to Ukraine's Aider Abduramov. He's got a bit of a height advantage here. It's whether he can make it count. Referee from Slovakia. Siwach, he's southpaw. He's quite stylish with it. Uh, as I say, he found Parlam's speed and aggression just that bit too much yesterday. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I'm sure he'll have fully recovered, fully hydrated. Nice little jab to start things off as he settled into a very good rhythm as the, the tricky southpaw. Set back Ulu, much more steady on his feet, just kind of crab like shuffling forward. Head movement from Siwach out of the way and he's trying to dictate with that right jab. His fainting's very good and that's a nice little straight shot as well to follow with the backhand there from Sachin. Sebek Ulu taking his time to work his way into this contest. Sachin is pretty elusive. There's a right from Sebek Ulu, which finds the target. Yeah, I mentioned that ability to be elusive. He's up on his toes the whole time. A natural mover. Also that good change of levels as well. Sebek Ulu just struggling to find the options. Would be well advised to try and get that jab going and then follow in, but doesn't want to get any head clashes at this stage against a southpaw with that cut over his eye. Sachin Siwach on the retreat. There, Sabre Ulu does get through, but Sachin wraps him up. There's a bit of forearm there from Sabre Ulu, and the referee spotted that as well. Not solving the, the southpaw problem here, Seba Ulu. Set a very good pace here, Sachin Sewach. Nice movement of the head as well from the end and gets out the way. Making Seba Ulu miss. Man from Kyrgyzstan did land a right hand in there, but it was a lancing blow. Inside of the glove, forearm from Sachin, a warning for him from the referee. We're inside the last 30 seconds of round one, and Sebe Ulu charges at Sachin there. You can see perhaps the frustration growing. That was more of a rugby tackle than a <laughs> boxing move there. He gave it a try, but couldn't quite. His intention is clear. Try and keep Sewach on the back foot, try and keep him in the corner, but easier said than done. And you said, you have spoken earlier about when you're against someone and you end up mimicking their style. You can see that from Sebek Ulu. He got frustrated and then he started copying Sachin. Yeah, it's the sincerest form of flattery as we see the judges there. Sebek Ulu, I thought was 
fortunate there to get those power shots registered because Sewa Sachin really landed some good shots. Well, that is a bit of a surprise, I have to say. I thought Sachin Siwach dominated that bout for the most part. He certainly controlled the tempo. Didn't land that many great shots. But a lot of clean shots. And the power shots that were landed were right at the end there. So I wonder if there wasn't too much value added to Sachin Sewach in the beginning because he certainly picked off nicely with the jab. Three or four good seemingly scoring shots. But maybe just that one power shot at the end there for Setback Ulu. It's a setback for Sachin. A step forward for Setback Ulu now. So Sachin Sewach with work to do. I mean, as, as far as it goes, if you're not thinking about the scorecard, if you're just concerned about the action in the ring, the actual fight in the ring, Sachin's probably pretty pleased with what he's done so far. Yeah, he's made setback Ulu miss. He's given him some difficulties. But if these little pawing, touching shots are not being given any love by the judges, then he's going to have to change. And he has. He's come forward. Nice little check. Right hook there as well from the Indian Southpaw. As you see, he can be happy with the work done, but time in which to do it. Setback Ulu dropping his hands, beginning to fancy this one a little bit more. And Sachin chasing a bit. Haven't seen too much problem with that eye of Setback Ulu just yet, but Sachin landing a couple of rights. He's going hunting for it now, isn't he, Rory? He's having a look at it. Trying to get that to open up, cause a bit of difficulty. It's not in his nature, Sachin Sewach. He'd rather be elusive and confusing. At the moment, he's having to be compact and convincing. There's a couple of good slapping shots there. Just past the midway point of round two. Sachin Sewach. Left to the body this time, mixing things up. Told to keep his head up by the referee. Couldn't see too much in that. Right from Sabic Ulu scores, but man from Kyrgyzstan isn't throwing that many punches at the moment. Yep, he certainly. If he was rewarded for effort and intensity in the first round, you would have to say that Sachin Sewach, who wasn't rewarded for that, should get that same treatment here because he's carried this. He's been the most competitive. And certainly provided the compelling shots. Good little body dig there from Setback Ulu. Just over 30 seconds to go. Lovely straight left from Setback Ulu. Comes Sachin. Right from Sebek Ulu starts to show a bit more purpose. A little bit ungainly coming forward there. The man in red. Sachin picked him off with one shot. I was going to say, look before you leap, but he didn't look at all. And he met there with the, the blue glove. The man from India, Sachin Sewach. And this one, Kevin up on predicting the rounds because we're not too sure. Yeah, important to see what the judges made of round two, because if this is another round to Sabek Ulu, it's all but assured of the quota spot. Four judges again for Sabek Ulu. Actually, all five this time for Sabek Ulu. And he's two points up on all, on oh, sorry, two points up on four of the scorecards. And I think you can tell by the reaction in the Indian corner yeah. that they're not happy about the scoring. Yeah, I can understand that because if you're going to award effective aggression in the first round and not back foot boxing, and then award and reward back foot boxing in the other round. So it's just been a bit of confusion for Sachin Sewach. Sitbek Ulu. A bit of consternation here being raised, I think, as you said there, in the coaching corner, but just advised to calm down. You can see now Sachin Siwach going for the head. Big shots now. 
He knows that he's two points down on most of the scorecards and he needs the stoppage. He's been given the instruction and now he's going to start trading, but obviously that's fraught with danger as Sait Bekulu fires back. Sait Bekulu going into that shoulder roll position to try and use that Mayweather style check left hook, uses it nicely. And as you said, Rory, when you throw caution to the wind, you leave the door open. This will suit Sait Bekulu. That's four or five big swings there from Sachin Sewich. He'll be tired after that. He needs to try and dig his heels in. Big shot from Ulu. Yeah, lovely right shovel uppercut from the man from Kyrgyzstan. Already a minute gone in round three, and Sachin Sewich needs to find something. There was a straight right. Sebek Ulu took fairly well. Shoulders are down, just using a bit of kidology there. Head movement for setback Ulu. Putting on a bit of a show here. He'll be able to hear and feel that Sachin Sewich is getting ever more tired. It's a bit of a push there from Sachin Sewich at the start of that, and he's pulled up for that, and cuffing shot with the right hand from Sachin, but nothing to trouble Sebek Ulu unduly at the moment. Pulled up for the push. He's certainly pushing towards the finish line here. Needs to be a little bit careful. Lovely protection there, gets his glove up. Sebek Ulu just putting on a bit of a show now. Cockiness from the man from Kyrgyzstan. He's got his arms low and almost willing Sachin to aim for his chin, but he's getting out of the way of these shots. They're a bit telegraphed and a bit tired now from the Indian. 20 seconds to go. Looks like the man from Kyrgyzstan will be securing his country's first quota spot in Paris 2024. There goes the final bell. No celebrations from either man at the bell, and you can see the despair for Sachin Siwak. Smiles in the red corner. Looks like job done for Munabek Said Ulu. Yeah, very much so. Good start from Sachin Siwak. Sachin's chin was tested a few times there at the end. Setback will look putting on a bit of a clinic in that last minute or so. Understandably, Indian boxer Sachin very tired, but he won't be tired of hearing his name here. Setback will look set for Paris. Bring me, ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision in the red corner representing Kyrgyzstan. Setback will look. Munabek Saibet Ulu has won Kyrgyzstan's first quota spot at Paris 2024 in boxing. They didn't secure one for Tokyo. He'll be their first boxer in Paris, their first Olympic boxer since Rio 2016. And, I mean, the first round, I thought Sachin did enough. Uh, given the situation on the scorecards... Saibek Ulu did what he needed to do in round three. Yeah, of course, and that, that's the nature of any fight at all. It's subjective. The back foot boxing wasn't rewarded, and in the end, a cut to the eye, but it was a cut above the rest when it came to the scores. So as you can see, I think a couple of judges gave that final round in favour of Siwach, but a unanimous points decision for the man.